Hello, I'm Jason Leslie, Technical Veterinarian for PGG Wrightson. Today I'm here with Colin Mackay from Alanco and we're going to talk about jetting race handy hints when we're trying to treat for lice. Colin, what's some of the things we need to know? Well I think the, the key thing Jason is that while many farmers try and double up louse treatment with fly control when they're using the automatic jetting races, the reality is if they've got a louse issue, a lice issue rather, and they're concerned about them and they want to treat them, they actually have to target lice. And if you're using a jetting race, the, the key thing is don't have excessive wool length. There's no point trying to treat sheep with three months wool with a jetting race for louse control. Why is that? Is that cool? it's, it's simply a, a matter of getting, being able to get enough chemical down to skin level. Lice, oh. only, yeah, yeah. lice only live on sheep, so and they live all over a sheep. So the key point is enough chemical down to skin level over as big an area of the sheep as possible. So that means treating with relatively short wool. For instance, with cover comb or blade shorn sheep, you really want to be doing it when they go out the porthole. Right, um, okay. In terms of setup of the jetting race, the same stuff applies as for fly control, just monitoring the speed, knowing the volume of wash. But nos nozzle configuration will be very different for Louse control compared to fly control, you want nozzles which hit the flanks, the brisket, and the, as well as the back and the breech. You know, all so, over basically. So it's all over because yeah. lice live all over sheep and, yeah. and that's the key point. Excellent. Okay, if you want any more details on uh, lice control through jetting units, please click on the link below. Thanks for joining us.